Hi guys, this is Maria Dixon, and this is my telling of The Lion and the Mouse and Aesop's Fable. My objective is to create a completed picture book based on the fable. The goal of this project is to tell a story through images and convey, convey the message. I don't want to use text in this one. Uh, the modifications to the story is that I'm giving the lion a path to redemption. The sizing is 8.5 by 8.5. This is a standard printing size. And the number of pages is going to be 32. This is also standard. The summary of this story is a lion is disturbed by a mouse that is fleeing for its life. The lion reluctantly spares the mouse's life, but when walking off arrogantly, fails to see the rope trap. Hunters take the lion on their boat where the mouse gnaws the ropes freeing the lion, but in the struggle the mouse is knocked overboard. The lion dives in to save the mouse and the two become friends. The original Aesop's fable ends with the mouse reprimanding the lion for not knowing his worth. The ver this version allows the lion a path to redemption. The theme is everyone has value. Also the, stu the story touches on classism. The lion has a life of privilege, but the mouse is met with hardship with every turn. So how do I express these themes? Um, I wanted to make sure to include water in the story because of its link to transformation, i.e. baptism. I also wanted to incorporate the class's idea of the character design changing on the lion, and I liked the idea of his hair getting wet and making it curly. The moment of transformation for the lion is when he dives in to save the mouse instead of stoking his own ego by seeking revenge on the hunters that ensnared him. Here's some quick doodles that I did of the lion just to kind of rough out the idea of him. Um, I keep on drawing him, but I haven't really nailed down the idea exactly of how I want him to look. Here's some of my brainstorming ideas, and now for storyboards. We start with a full page spread, and this is going to have several vignettes that tell the story that the lion has a life of luxury and the mouse has a life of hardship. Let's break down this first page. There's a lot of things happening in one scene. In the first vignette, we have the mouse fleeing from a bird. The mouse moves to a branch, which is holding a snake. The bird flies in, bows to the lion. Meanwhile, the mouse is still in trouble with the snake, leading us into our next page. The mouse leaps, fleeing the snake, but the branch that he leaps onto snaps. The lion wakes up enraged. He swallows the mouse, but the mouse's tail tickles his nose. He gets embarrassed and is like, oh, no, I wasn't going to eat you or anything like that. Or at least that's the, that's the expression I'm going for here. I actually need another frame in between showing him spit the mouse out. The mouse is apologetic, but he's too prideful. The lion walks off smug, not paying attention to the ropes. Now the lion is ensnared in the ropes, the mouse sees. This is also going to be one of my full page spreads. I plan on illustrating the full page spreads as my completed images. The hunter cuts the lion down from the ropes, and I don't know why my drawing looks like he's smiling. It doesn't in real life. Um, I must have connected a line there or something. Anyhow, I digress. That's a boat. Worst drawing ever. Um, so. If you wanted to make sure that I was following the parameters of not looking at reference, there is exhibit A, B, and C there. The mouse runs after the boat that's getting ready to set sail. The mouse bravely yeets himself onto the boat. The mouse starts going to town on the ropes around the lion. The mouse frees the lion. The captor notices and then tries to subdue the lion. The mouse jumps in the fight, but is flicked into the sea. The lion notices. He dives in to save his friend, and this is our next full page spread. The lion swims to shore with the mouse in his mouth. For a moment, the lion thinks he's lost his friend. He revives him by pressing his stomach. And they take a little moment to snuggle. And now the lion and his new friend walk off into the sunset together. So that concludes my story. I wanted to end on a lion tail. Um, here are my color roughs and values. 
Here is my Pinterest board, which ironically has a lot of tigers instead of lions. Oh, we're going to add some more ideas. Oh, and there's more tigers, more tigers. Okay. So I'm going to link to that. You guys can share some thoughts with me if you'd like to. More tigers. All right. This is turning into the tiger board. This is a page from Ginchalo. This is a huge inspiration for me. I love the monochromatic um, touch with just like the one color and the black and the white. Uh, leans into a lot of my style. Here is a list of prospective publishers. I need to work on this list some more. Lastly, here is my calendar. How are we going to get these things done? I don't know. I have a, um, a list of personal goals on the right hand side that I have met none of. So um, here's to hoping that I'll get some of them moving forward. Wish me luck.